Blog Talk Radio. Hello, hello, everyone. This is Cherie Colfield, your host, and you are listening to To Your Health, where we educate the public on what matters the most, and what matters the most is definitely your health. I want to thank everyone that's on the call tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've had really, really good responses about the show. Um, If you have something in particular that you would like to hear discussed on the show or you have questions or comments during the show, you can always press 1 during the show, um, or you can send us a message at maywehelpyouradio.com, and we'll make sure that we try our best to meet your needs, and whatever you would like to have discussed on one of the shows, we'll see if we can make it happen. Um, Again, you're listening to To Your Health on May We Help You Radio Network, and I just want to tell you guys a little bit more about an upcoming expo that we have, the fourth annual Let's Get Serious Health Wellness Fitness Expo. It's being held Saturday, April the 5th, 2014, from 12 noon to 5 p.m. at the Inn at the Colony, which is located on 4 West University Parkway in Baltimore, Maryland. We actually take over the entire lobby and ballrooms in the hotel for a day of health, wellness, fitness, just family fun. It's a totally free event, so get your whole group, get your family, bring grandma, bring bring granddad, bring everybody out because there's something for everyone in the family, and we're going to get educated. We're going to do power workouts. I have great news. We just got the American Kidney Fund involved in the expo, and they're actually going to come out, and they're going to do um, kidney screenings. And guess what? It's totally free. So for all those people out there that may not have health insurance at, the, at insurance at this time or you've never had your kidney screened, they're going to actually be doing blood draws right there um, on, on site at the expo, and you will get the results of the screenings mailed to you. So it's very private, and you get your blood drawn right there, and you can find out how healthy your kidneys are. And you can find out whether you need to make necessary adjustments to get those kidneys healthy. Again, you're listening to To Your Health on May We Help You Radio Network. I'm Cherie Colfield, your host. Again, I want to thank everyone who's tuning in this evening because I know you guys have very busy lives, but your health is really, really important. On today's show, um, we're going to speak to a gentleman by the name of Mark Davis. Um, he is the founder and CEO of Beans and Frank, and you guys, you can, you have to tune in and make sure you stay on the call so you can hear from this gentleman. He's doing some amazing things in the community for our children. Um, you know, it takes a village to raise children, and he definitely has some key ways to help you to educate your children. And then after that, we're going to talk about glaucoma. January is National Glaucoma Awareness Month, and so we're going to See what you guys uh, can learn new about glaucoma and see if maybe you're at risk for having glaucoma or whether you may inherit it later on in life. So don't go anywhere. We're going to take a quick break. And one of the uh, songs that you're going to hear right now is a snippet from um, Beans and Frank, one of our guests. So you can just get a little sample of uh, some of the work that Mr. Mark Davis and his crew does. So don't go anywhere. You're listening to To Your Health or May We Help You Radio Network. We'll be right back. Clean up, clean up. It's time to clean up. Hey! It's time to clean up, clean up, clean up. It's time to clean up. Hey! It's time to clean up, clean up, clean up. It's time to clean up. It's time to clean up, clean up, clean up. It's time to clean up. Hey, yeah, it's time to clean up. I done straight my heart out, pulled out the toys, threw around the ball and rode bikes with my boys. Did a little hula hoop that jumped out with joy. Didn't think about the place that we destroyed, but I think it's time to clean it. 
matter of fact, I know it. The teacher's saying it and she means it. And I'm in agreement. We got to get this place together right now. And the reason is this. I want to have more fun. And I know this game. There's no snack until it's floor done. I know I'm going to help and get more done. And when you help, we get more done. And when we help each other, it's more fun. More fun means there's no time for boredom. Yay! We cleaning up this place, man. Classroom, bedroom, playroom, basement. Clean up, clean up. It's time to clean up. Hey! It's time to clean up, clean up, clean up. Most people are held captive by being an employee or self-employed. Heroes Academy helps break these chains that bind them. Our financial school has two courses of study. First, one for people who want to transition to become business owners, and the second for students who want to learn to become an investor. For more information, please go to HeroACAD.com. Hi, I am Capri Smith, your uncuffed living expert. I am also a transformational and empowering business coach. I teach strong, empowered women how to uncover their own life's purpose and match it with a business of their dreams and create several streams of income. I believe if you're not living uncuffed, you're just not living. There are too many women that are faking it until they make it. Working with me enables you to do the self-work so that you live the life that's meant for you. I invite you to visit CapriceSmith.com. There you will find my packages. I conduct VIP days where I spend an entire day working one-to-one with my client. I also host monthly seminars. I have a huge annual seminar, and I founded my nonprofit, 501c3, where we teach families and teens about dating and domestic violence. There are so many layers to me. I invite you to connect by visiting caprismith.com and scheduling your free 20-minute strategy session where you, too, can start to live uncuffed. In addition, every Saturday at 10 o'clock, I invite my listeners to the May We Help You radio team where they hear from other women who, like me, have discovered their purpose and are living the life that's meant for them. Until I meet you in person, have a wonderful day. And remember, if you're not living uncuffed, you're just not living. Hello, and welcome back, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to To Your Health, where we educate the public on what matters the most. I just wanted to invite everyone to another event that's going on. If you're in the Baltimore area, next Monday, we're going to have a fundraiser for Sharper Minds Consultants, and I'm one of the board members uh, on this group, and the purpose of the group is to educate people on healthy relationships as well as to prevent domestic violence. They're having a fundraiser night at the Pizza Hut in Owings Mills, Maryland, right on Ricestown Road on uh, next Monday. I believe that's the 3rd, um, starting at uh, 6 p.m. And you come on through and tell them you're there for the fundraiser, and 20% of your uh, bill will go towards Sharper Minds Consultants and continuing the work that they do. So you can eat pizza, have a good time, all for a worthy cause. So I'll be there. Hopefully you guys can make it as well. Again, you're tuning in to To Your Health, where we educate the public on what matters the most. I am Cherie Colefield, your host. Uh, be sure to visit my website, ShereeColefieldInternational.com, and be sure to register your entire family or group for the fourth annual Let's Get Serious Health, Wellness, and Fitness Expo 2014. Um, you can visit that website at Let's Get Serious 2014.eventbrite.com. And it's totally free. You can go there and see all the amazing vendors and sponsors that we have for the expo, as well as the purpose of the expo. Uh, So I hope to see everyone there. Come on out in your sweats and your sneakers, and we're going to have a great time. Now, at the onset of the show, I mentioned to you guys that I have 
a gentleman on the line that is doing some, I mean, amazing things for the youth in our community. Um, I'm going to bring on the call Mr. Mark Davis. He's the founder and CEO of Beans and Frank, and he makes learning fun for children by way of music. And who doesn't love music, you know? So definitely he's doing a lot of big things in the community. We'd like to welcome Mark to the call. Hello, hello. How are you doing, Hi, everybody? Hi, how hey. are you? Hey, Sheree, Thank you so Leticia. much. Thank you so Thanks much for, for being me. a guest. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You're doing some dynamic things with the youth in the community, so it, I thought it was so important to bring some attention to Beans and Frank. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Beans and Frank and how you got your start. Well, uh um, my partner and I, Charles Washington, um, we were um, we've been colleagues. We um, actually met in 1997 when he was still a, um, a student in Towson University. I was uh, a camp director at um, um, Camp New Mecca at New Mark of Excellence Schools uh, summer camp, and we met there and and we started. Um, um, doing a, a hip hop class at a summer camp, and we started teaching young people music um, back in 1997, teaching them how to write poetry and make it into music at 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 a class then, and then it mm-hmm. kind of evolved over the years as we started teaching positive songs to. Um, young people in the summer times and in my after school program, it kind of evolved into us creating these characters, uh, Beans and Frank, and um, and we came up with the idea in 2003, and it um, and we released out. It, it was it was still kind of playing around with the idea for years in summer camp and. And the kids just coming back and remembering all of the little positive raps that we taught them over the years. And then in 2010, um, we so we released our first Beans and Frank CD called Ready for School. Wow. And that's where wow, it started. Yeah. Wow, that's great. That's great. So it, it was just you guys teaching kids songs and then it, it grew into a business. Yeah. Wow, exactly. that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. And I know that you guys are all about education. I was looking at your website, and I, I saw that you guys are veteran educators, you're music professionals, and you reinforce the skills that, you know, a lot of the parents that we teach at home, like numbers and, and things like that. And you you help kids to remember it through through musical uh, instruments. So I really, really like that. And another thing I noticed about your website was that Beans and Frank, um, you guys break down the barriers of prejudice because you have different ethnicities with your characters. So yeah, I really, it, really appreciate that. That was very important um, in, the, in the creation of these characters because um, we realized that in, in, you know, sharing these songs with the community that it wasn't just about one race or one culture, um, mm-hmm. music and hip hop crosses barriers of cultures. If you notice, um, hip hop culture is is global, is world culture now. It's mm-hmm. it's something that 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 um, people from all countries of the world connect with. I mean, we get um, comments on our YouTube channel, um, as well as, you know, uh, um, uh, sales from from our uh, iTunes, you know, uh, music mm-hmm. from all over the world. And we get comments from, from teachers and from parents from all over the world that connect with the music just because it's hip-hop. And so, you know, that's something that, you know, that we recognize from the beginning, even before we you know, um, actually had visuals of the characters. We said we want to make it multicultural because this is something that is that everyone can relate to, 
and right. and it actually worked out that way. That's that's really great, and that's commendable that you guys put so much thought into it. Now, where did the names Beans and Frank actually come from? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a funny story. Um, <clears throat> um, partner was a big fan of the movie Something About Mary. You remember that? Vaguely, vaguely, I remember. <laughs> okay. So it was a character in there that he was. He used to say, um, he, he said in the movie, he said, Frank and Beans, Frank and Beans. <laughs> if, you, if you know anything about the, <laughs> that movie, it was a character in there that, that um, he was a little um, mentally challenged, but he was, you know, Frank and Beans was his thing. And so my uh-huh. partner was like, he was like, Frank and Beans. He was like, man, that could be the name of, of our characters that we create, Frank and Beans. And so we did Frank and Beans. Of course, me as the business side of what we do, you know, mm-hmm. I, I I went to register <laughs> frankandbeans.com. <laughs> and, <laughs> and let's just say that, you know, it's very important that everyone does Beans and Frank, not right. Frank and Beans. Exactly. Beans and Frank. So a lot of people say, oh, you know, oh, oh, I heard of y'all Frank and Beans. Go to beansandfrank.com. It's very <laughs> important. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And it's not Beans and Frank because I was making it's, that mistake. It's Beans dash, capital N dash, Frank. So Beans yes. and Frank. So if you that, Google uh, Beans com. and Frank the way that you said, Beans mm-hmm. dash N dash Frank, capital or not, but as long as you have the Beans dash N dash Frank, then and you Google that, then you can find all the places that, you know, that you have us on, on online. Facebook, okay. Google, um, our, our Reverb Nation page, our YouTube page, all of those things will pop up with Beans, dash n dash frank but that's the birth of it with you know it it really was his infatuation with the movie and that, i mean, i don't think anybody really asked that before but it's all good right right yeah we like to do we want to get all in the business we want to know everything <laughs> so I, I said i wonder where those names came from but that's that's very interesting some sometimes the Smallest things can come out with the biggest results, and you guys are having amazing results. Make sure you guys look them up on beansandfrank.com. Amazing, yeah. amazing work that they're doing. Also, you guys are going to be performing at the fourth annual Let's Get Serious Health Wellness Fitness Expo, and you guys don't just do educational songs. You also encourage healthy lifestyles. Tell us a little bit about, about that. Oh, man, I'm – It's called Fun to Exercise, and we're actually um, creating, we're developing a clothing line to go with um, the Fun to Exercise, um, you know, music. And we've been okay. we've been sharing this music for the last year. I was trying to get on the 2013 um, um, uh, uh Expo. What's it called? Yeah, yeah the, the expo. expo. Yeah. I was trying to get on the 2013 expo, but we didn't make it in time. But I'm telling you, oh my goodness, we've been sharing this music with um, children in daycare centers and elementary schools. If you look on the Beans and Frank fan page um, and on Facebook, you'll see us uh, a picture at um, a, an elementary school that we've done here, um, what is the name of that school? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm losing my memory. It's not good right now. But we did, we've done a number of malls in, in the area. We've done a number of, of uh, daycare centers in the area and elementary schools where we shared this exercise music, and the kids loved it 
So we're we're really excited about that. We're trying to get on there because we were first, you know, when we first started Beans and Frank, we started Beans and Frank. Mark, you you faded out a little bit. Can, can you I'm just sorry. make sure you're there we go. We can hear you again now. Okay. Okay. We don't want to miss any of the good information you're giving us. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> we started Beans and Frank to be the modern day hip hop version of schoolhouse rock. Okay. Okay. But when we we were alerted by a non profit in Howard County, I can't remember the name, but they were doing um they were doing a promotion about um, childhood, preventing childhood obesity. Mm-hmm. And that's what inspired us to do the um, the Fun to Exercise project that we recorded. And so okay. when we did it and we began to share it with daycare centers and elementary schools around the area, and we saw how well it was received, it was like, mm-hmm. wow. We didn't even know, we, we didn't realize that this was such a big deal, you know. And, and it's such and, a huge need for it because childhood obesity is a major issue in the United States, period. So definitely that there is a huge need for it. And I know that the at the Expo, I know you guys are just going to tear it up, and that's how we're actually going to introduce you guys, um, you know, that, there's a big initiative to fight childhood obesity and that, you know, your company is one of the companies that actually advocate for healthy kids. So we are super, super excited to have you at the Let's Get Serious Expo. Folks, you have to come out. Bring your kids. Bring your kids because they're going to definitely enjoy this. There's something for every member of the family, and um, it's all free. So why not come out to the fourth annual Let's Get Serious Health, Wellness, Fitness Expo you can meet Mark Davis and his and his partner there, and um, I'm sure they'll have CDs on hand. So if you guys want to get CDs for your kids, to so they'll be singing along. If you just need some new music for the car ride to daycare to school, Mark Davis and, and Beans and Frank will definitely have something for you to tune into. And yes, I know Mark, you had, yeah, you had mentioned something else about um, we talked earlier about Fun DMV. Tell us a little bit about Fund DMV and how some other businesses can get involved in your initiative. Well, <clears throat> I um I got a call um late last year from um a club owner in Baltimore, in South Baltimore, and he said, you know, we're about to open this facility and I really want to do uh, a weekly television show um where we we feature and and he called me because he he knew about Beans and Frank. And when I thought about um, featuring on a television show, I said, I want to bring in all of the children's entertainers from the area and give them a platform to to demonstrate what they do on a weekly television show here in Baltimore, Maryland. You feel me? Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're we're creating a network called Fun DMV, and we've already begun meeting um, with uh, some of the children's entertainers in the area. We got three-time Grammy winner. I'm sorry, three-time Emmy winner, Kinderman. That's a part of our network. Um, we have um, if you if you're in the D.C. area and you know about children's entertainment, then you know about Mr. Derby. He's in our network. Um, John Carrington is a veteran entertainer in our network. Miss the, Miss Sweet Potato is a veteran, and she's in our network. And so we've begun meeting. I need for you to email me at Beans and Frank Two. That's B E A N S F R A N K. It's B E A N S N. F R A N K the number two at gmail dot com. If you're a children's entertainer, if you live in the D C Maryland and Virginia area or operate out of this area, give me a call so we can give you I mean give me an email so that we can get you on this platform and get you out to a wider um fan base and, and we're just, you know, coming together and 
building our fan bases together and edutaining children and families together. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for being a guest on To Your Health. Uh, we are look, so looking forward to seeing you at the Let's Get Serious Health, Wellness, Fitness Expo, along with Beans and Frank. And yes. Educating the kids at the expo. So we definitely, definitely just give you kudos for what you're doing in the community. Guys, if you want to get involved in his initiative, please visit his uh, website, beansinfrank.com, and sign up for Fun DMV. Um, get yourself out there and let us hear about what initiatives you are doing to help uh, educate our children because, again, it does take a village to raise them. So we appreciate everything you're doing, Mark. And we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about National Glaucoma Awareness Month, the month of January. And we're going to talk about some glaucoma and see, are you at risk? Um, Do you have signs and symptoms of glaucoma? Don't go anywhere. You're listening to To Your Health on May We Help You Radio Network. Noun is a person, place, or thing, or idea. Whatever you talk about gets more clear with the noun. The right noun to use right now is education, boy. Translation and toy are two of my favorite nouns. Let me break it down. What I'm talking about, because anybody you meet is a noun. Now, nouns are subjects of your sentence. That little brother pronoun represents them. If a noun is boy, the pronoun is him. If it's more than one boy, the pronoun is him. I know now that when you understand now, you could go now to win. When you write the nouns out like bike or clown, I know these nouns, I know my nouns. Yeah. Yeah. Subject, direct object, 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 Hi, my name is Leticia M., owner of May We Help You Network. I want to thank you for joining us and enjoying our host here on MWHY Radio Network. Please visit us online at MWHYradio.com and like us on Facebook.com forward slash MWHY Radio. Tune in to learn more about our hosts and upcoming contests and our TV programming that will be coming to you soon. MWHY Radio, bringing together business, community, and you. You're listening to To Your Health, where we educate the public on what matters the most. If you're just tuning in, you missed a dynamic guest, Mr. Mark Davis, founder, CEO of Beans and Frank, he talked about educating the children through music, and boy, what you just heard was a sample of one of their songs. They're going to be at the fourth annual Let's Get Serious Health, Wellness, Fitness Expo, and we can't wait to have them there. So make sure you bring your kids and your grandkids out. There's something for every one of the family. Again, the fourth annual Let's Get Serious Health, Wellness, Fitness Expo being held on April the 5th, 2014 from 12 to 5 p.m. at the Inn at the Colonnade in Baltimore, 4 West University Parkway, Baltimore, Maryland, 21218. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention our dynamic sponsors that we have for the expo. We have State Farm Insurance, the Baltimore Times. We have Lisa Fleet Photography, Good Fit for Life, Sharper Minds Consultants, Sherwood and Powers, Flantress Magazine, Sky Media Group, and Completely Yours Events. And then we have some dynamic media sponsors that are going to be there doing live broadcasts from uh, the expo. Of course, May We Help You Radio Network will definitely be in the building. Tamika Harris Live, she's going to be there doing some recaps, video recaps of the expo. So look out for her when you're at the uh, expo. She may come up to you and ask you, do you want to give your opinion of the expo? 
And then last but not least, we have She's the Boss Radio Network, who we're doing a live broadcast as well. So we definitely appreciate all of our dynamic sponsors who believe in our passion and our mission to spread health and wellness to the community at no cost at all. Again, if you have not registered yourself or your family, we're we're less than 60, I think we're about 65 days away from the expo, so time's getting close, folks. Make sure you go to Let's Get Serious 2014.eventbrite.com so that you can register yourself and your family. Um, we're going to have healthy food samples. There are going to be vendors. If you're a person that likes to shop, we're going to have over 50 vendors. Some are information vendors. We're actually going to have uh, – a stress-less zone where you can get free mini massages. You can get your free mini makeovers, um, makeup makeovers, ladies. So if you're wondering what colors will look good for you for the upcoming spring and summer, you have to see Shandrika. She's going to be there doing the mini makeover uh, makeovers for the ladies. Also, we're going to have power workouts. We're going to have cardio kickboxing. We're going to have uh, Hula Hoop Fitness. We're going to have two sessions of Zumba. And, you know, everybody gets excited when they hear about Zumba. So make sure you guys come out. We're going to have Cranked Up Fitness. And this lady's going to take it, if you're from Baltimore, she's going to take it back to the old school music for uh, for Baltimore. And she's really going to get it in. She's been practicing her routine and sending me snippets, so I'm excited. Anyway, we said that we were going to talk about Glaucoma this evening because January is National Glaucoma Awareness Month. And so we want to make sure that we keep you guys educated about what matters the most, which is your health. So just a couple of facts about glaucoma. Glaucoma is a condition that causes damage to your eyes, optic nerve, and it gets worse over time. It's often associated with a buildup of pressure inside the eye. Glaucoma tends to be inherited and may, and may not show up until later in life. So a lot of times uh, folks don't know that glaucoma can be inherited. So if your parents, your grandparents, aunts or uncles may have had glaucoma, uh, it may show up later in life. So it's so important to make sure that you are getting your eyes checked on a regular basis. At least once a year, go get your eyes checked out. Now, it's the increased pressure or the intraocular pressure that causes the optic nerve damage. And this transmits images to the brain, this optic nerve. Now, if the damage to the optic nerve from the uh, high pressure in the eye continues, this can cause permanent loss of vision. And without treatment, glaucoma can cause total, total permanent blindness within a few years. And some interesting facts that I found out about uh, glaucoma was that once you're diagnosed, you can never reverse the damage that's already been done. So that's why it's so important to make sure you get your annual uh, vision checks done so that you can check, uh, so that they can check out the pressure in your eye to make sure that if you do end up having a diagnosis of glaucoma, that you're getting it early enough where it's not causing too much permanent damage. Because if you wait around, you wait around, that damage is irreversible. So we want to make sure you guys are seeing everything clearly. We wouldn't want anybody walking around and all of a sudden have permanent uh, blindness. That would be very detrimental. Now, there was a couple key facts about glaucoma that I found interesting. One was that it's been uh, it's a cause of blindness, and uh, approximately a hundred percent of those treated, a um, hundred of those, I'm sorry, if it's left untreated, they lose their vision totally. But those who are treated tend to have good results of not having further damage. So if you get glaucoma treatment, um, there are some eye drops, and then there is also a surgical procedure that can be done to stop further damage. There's no cure for glaucoma. That was the second key fact about glaucoma. Vision loss cannot be regained, but the treatment uh, will halt further vision loss. Um, The third fact is that everyone is at risk. Um, the older population is more at risk than the younger population. And this is something that I found interesting that I didn't even know And being a nurse. African Americans are more susceptible to being diagnosed with glaucoma at a younger age. So that was very interesting. So 
Um, if you're just tuning in on the call, we're talking about glaucoma. This is National Glaucoma Awareness Month. So we're just giving some key facts about glaucoma. It is a cause of blindness. There's no cure, and everyone is at risk. And then another key factor is that there may be no symptoms to warn you that you may have glaucoma. Again, another very, very important and major reason why you should be getting your annual vision checks. Um, vision loss begins with the peripheral vision, so on the sides. So if you're having problems seeing on the sides, if you're looking straight and you can't see what's on the side of you, that's one of the ways that you may, you know, one of the things you may want to go get checked out to make sure that you do not have glaucoma. Also, statistics have shown that 2.2 million Americans have glaucoma, but only half know about it. So that is alarming that only 2.2 million Americans actually have glaucoma, but only 1.1 million know they have it. So, again, another reason why it's so important to look at your, get your eyes checked out and take a look at your your vision and make sure that if you are having any kind of blurred vision or if you're having any kind of pressure behind your eyes, go get it checked out because it could be something as serious as glaucoma. And, again, we had already stated that the damage that glaucoma causes is irreversible. So the sooner that you get it checked out, the better. Some of the other symptoms um, for maybe possibly having glaucoma is hazy, blurred vision, sudden vision loss. So maybe if you wake up and then one day you just can't see, it could come and go. You want to go get that checked out. The appearance of rainbow-colored circles around bright lights. So if you see bright lights, maybe if you're driving and you're seeing like rainbow circles around those lights, that's something you definitely want to get checked out. Those are symptoms of glaucoma, as well as severe eye and head pain. If you're having any of those, you definitely want to go get your eyes checked immediately. Again, for those that just tuned in, you're listening to To Your Health, where we educate the public on what matters the most. We're talking about eye care right now. This is National Glaucoma Awareness Month, and we're giving you some of the signs and symptoms of of uh, possibly having glaucoma, um, just letting everyone know how important it is to get your vision test done at least annually. If you're having issues with your eyes, you may want to go even more frequently, but uh, glaucoma is the second leading cause in the world um, of blindness, the second leading cause in the world of blindness. So it's very, very serious. You probably don't hear as much about glaucoma as you probably want to, but um, glaucoma actually accounts for over $10 million in doctor's visits each year. So it's definitely a serious problem that we probably don't talk about enough, but uh, thankfully it's National Glaucoma Awareness Month, so it made me delve into it even more, and I actually learned some things online about glaucoma. If you're just tuning in again, this is to your health. Um, it's, it's the cause of blindness. We're talking about glaucoma. Everyone's at risk. African Americans are more susceptible at a younger age. And there may be no symptoms to warn you, so make sure you get your vision test. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk to you more about what's going on in the community and do a recap on glaucoma. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to To Your Health, where we educate the public on what matters the most. Break your day, let me see you take away. Let's do it. Subtraction. If you feeling great today, let me see you take away. Let's do it. The ten family. Ten minus one is nine. Ten minus two is eight. Ten minus three is seven. Ten minus four is six. Ten minus five is five. Ten minus seven is three. Ten minus eight is two. Ten minus nine is one. And ten minus ten is zero. Incarceration doesn't just affect the one behind bars. It affects everyone. 
Here's your chance to let others know that being locked up leaves others locked down on the outside, hurting emotionally, economically, and spiritually. We want to know how you feel. Go to www.lovelockdownseries.com and make your creative voice heard. Lovelockdownseries.com. We are listening. Slantress, a noun meaning a woman with a vision and the heart to follow it. Slantress focuses on inspiring and supporting the growth of black women, but it's open to all women by using this publication as a vehicle that assists in the fostering of self-progression. This publication does not speak for every woman, but will work to provide the voices and slants of as many as possible. Get your subscription today at slantress.com. That's S-L-A-N-T-R-E-S-S dot com. Hello, I'm Cherie Colfield again, your host of To Your Health, where we educate the public on what matters the most. Uh, the snippet you just heard of the song there was from Beans and Frank. He was our guest today, Mr. Mark Davis. He's the founder and CEO, doing amazing things in the community to help our children stay educated and entertained, as he as he used that word in his interview. I really like that word. Um, if you are interested in getting some of those songs or Find out more information about his company. Make sure you visit beansinfrank.com, and I'm sure he would love to hear some feedback from you guys. And for those of you who are just tuning in, we were talking about eye health and glaucoma. And just want to give you guys a couple top tips for healthier eyes. One tip that you can do to help your eyes to stay healthy is to every 20 minutes, Look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. 20, 20, 20. You want your vision to be 20, 20. So if you're someone that works at the computer or you watch a lot of TV, every 20 minutes you want to look up and look away at least 20 feet for 20 seconds. And that will help to keep your eyes healthy. Another thing you can do is wear sunshades. Always wear sunshades when you're out in bright light or in the sun because the UV rays can actually hurt your eyes just like it does your skin, just like it can burn your in, uh, your skin, it can actually burn your eyes. And then those effects, they add up over time and can cause problems like cataracts or cornea burns and even cancer of the eyelids. So make sure you're wearing sunglasses or contacts um, that block um, 100% of the UV rays and UVB rays, UVA and UVB rays. So make sure you protect your eyes in that way as well. Another tip for healthier eyes is to always wear safety glasses when you're working or if you're playing. So for all the fellas out there and ladies who play basketball or you're playing sports, make sure you protect your eyes. Um, I know I've, I've heard a couple people have fingers poke them in the eye, and that can cause damages as well. But nearly half of all eye injuries happen at home, not on the job site. So when you're doing things like um, splashing hazardous chemicals or things like that, make sure that you're wearing your protective uh, safety glasses. Another tip is to eat healthy. We always talk about healthy eating, but eat for your heart and your eyes. Foods that help circulation are good for your heart, eyes, and your vision. So you want to choose heart-healthy foods like citrus fruits and dark leafy greens and whole grains. Foods that are rich in zinc, such as beans, peas, peanuts, oysters, lean red meat, and poultry. And these can help to resist the damage that light causes to the eyes, as well as carrots. I know we all heard each of carrots growing up, and so uh, carrots actually do help the eyesight. So make sure you're eating a healthy, well-balanced diet. If you're just tuning in, we're giving top uh, tips for healthier eyes. Um, another tip is not to ignore eye problems. As we just talked about, if you're having those that blurred vision or you can't see um, on the sides of your eyes, make sure you go get it checked out. Um, 
if your eyes are itchy or red, you want to soothe them with cold, cold compresses or eye drops. Um, if you feel grittiness like sand in your eyes, rinse it out with water or saline. And make sure you get to the doctor if you see any kind of swelling or you feel sensitive to more sensitive to light and if you see any drainage or secretions coming from your eyes. Another tip for a safe and healthy eyes is to make sure that if you do wear contact lenses that you keep them clean because they can be a, a breeding area for microorganisms. So make sure you clean them and rinse them and keep them in a dry case um, every time that you remove them. So, and make sure you're washing your hands frequently before you're handling your contact lenses and rubbing your eyes or touching your face at all. And then know your health history. Um, it's important. Talk to your parents. Talk to your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, about whether or not they have any kind of eye diseases or any eye problems that may have affected them at a younger age um, so that you will know what you are predisposed to. Heredity is so important. Another tip for healthy eyes, ladies, throw away the old makeup, the old eye makeup. A lot of times we want to hold on to that MAC eye shadow that we just love. After so much time, you need to just go on and throw it out. After three months, throw the product out, the mascara, the the um, eye, the creamy eye makeups. They are a breeding ba- uh, ground for bacteria, and it can cause eye infections. So make sure that you're... Uh, marking down when you bought that makeup, and if you haven't used it within three months, it's so important to get rid of it. We're talking about tips for healthier eyes. Um, we already mentioned that we want to get regular eye exams. Make sure that you're getting your eyes checked um, frequently, at least uh, once a year. Some recommend some uh, recommendations are every other year if you don't have any eye problems or things like that. You can skip one year, but the recommendation is normally one year. If you are a smoker, a lot of people don't tend to think that uh, healthy eyes have anything, smoking has anything to do with healthy eyes, but actually smoking raises your risk of developing cataracts and it aggravates um, uncomfortable and dry eyes. So smoking is not good for you anyway, so we're going to ask you to stop for healthier eyes as well. So these are just some tips for healthier eyes. Again, January was... Uh, National Glaucoma Awareness Month, so we wanted to make sure we gave some attention to glaucoma and healthy eyes and eye care to help keep your eyes uh, healthy. And prevention uh, is definitely the way to go. We'd rather prevent illnesses than have to treat them. Again, you're listening to To Your Health, where we educate the public on what matters the most. We've mentioned it a couple times, but we want to make sure that everyone it's registered for the fourth annual Let's Get Serious Health, Wellness, Fitness Expo. Um, it's free. You can register online at Let's Get Serious 2014.eventbrite.com. Make sure you tune in to To Your Health every Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. Um, on next week's show, we're going to have the founder and CEO of Slantress Magazine, Ms. Deborah Bynum Billups, and she's one of our sponsors for the fourth annual Let's Get Serious Expo. She's going to come and talk to us about healthy living and talking about her magazine, Slantress. And then also we're going to have Ms. Mrs. Janelle Boyd. She is another sponsor of the Let's Get Serious Health, Wellness, Fitness Expo, and she is an event planner. She's dynamic. She's going to be there helping us out at the 4th Annual Let's Get Serious Expo. If you're having an upcoming event, she's definitely your go-to person for equipment, supplies, staging, anything you need, she's there. She can actually even have her whole team come and run your event for you. Uh, So make sure you reach out to her and listen to us next week. Um, She's going to talk to us about why she decided to get involved in the Let's Get Serious Health Wellness Fitness Expo. Um, Again, next Monday, um, there is a very good event going on at the Pizza Hut in Owings Mills, Maryland, if you're in the area on Ricestown Road. Um, There's going to be a fundraiser for Sharper Minds Consultants starting at 6 p.m., and um, 20% of your bill will go to Sharper Minds Consultants. I'm one of their board members, and their their mission is to educate about healthy relationships and also to prevent domestic violence and dating violence um, in the community. So another great organization doing some great things. 
Um, I'm definitely going to be there. Would love to meet you. Would love to see you there. But make sure you tune in to May We Help You Radio every week. Um, you can actually listen to the different shows that we have every day of the week. Um, we have some dynamic uh, hosts doing some amazing shows. So make sure you tune in to May We Help You Radio um, Network at mwhyradio.com. And until the next time, you all stay well. And remember to consider your health. It's your most value, valuable possession. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you.